Well, it costs more than you folks think. It's because there's some basic things that are, are forgotten in this situation. The fact that young people don't listen. Young people don't think. You can have some old person come over here with hopes to better themselves. You can have some young person come over here and fall into the trap of what America is. It's how we treat these people when they get here that will determine what they will become once they get here. A lot of shit happens. These people are doing good, then they do bad. Whatever. People fall into traps and holes throughout this country. The problem is this. With the cost of illegal immigration, what is the cost of how people act and carry themselves here? How? What is the cost of American hooliganism? Hoogan, hooliganism? We act just as stupid as some of these illegal people do. Not just the blacks, the whites, and the Mexicans. But there are a lot of bunch of young Americans who have no values anymore. No sense of right from wrong. It's not just illegal immigration. You have to worry about these companies and these contractors who hire the illegals. Don't blame that on the people that harbor them. The people that harbor these illegal people use these illegal people for monetary means. You're going to give me $800 a month to sleep in my garage. I'm fucking taking it. You're going to give me in this economy $600 to sleep in my backyard. I'm taking it. You're going to give me $150 a month because I got you a job somewhere making less than minimum wage. I'm taking it. In today's world, people feed off other people. Don't just blame the illegals or blame the people who support them and who exploit them. Now, we all benefit and lose from illegal immigration. We all lose and benefit from illegal immigration. You need to fit out or you need to figure out where you fit in. And the problem is this. People take from us every day. You gonna blame the people who pull up the slack? Or are you gonna blame the people giving them the slack to pull? You can beat yourself a million times and be mad at a group of people from whatever country they come from. Cuba, Haiti, or fucking Canada. You can beat these people and scream and yell about how bad they're doing you, but have you ever done one of these jobs that these people allegedly take? Have you ever went down there to say, you know what, I'm going to take six fifty to work at your jack-in-the-box and let people fucking talk bad about you and throw food in your face and, and disrespect you? Yeah, that happens. I once worked at fast food restaurants as a young kid in this country. Instead of putting my first name on my name tag, I put my last name on my name tag. Word Mr. in front of my last name. You know how many people were pissed off by having to call you Mr. Blah Blah? Think about the cost of illegal immigration before you make statements about these people in which you exploit. Thank you for your time and you've been tuned.